Hello, this is Dan Pro, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial here to um, answer a question that was recently asked on the forums uh, about uh, using Rigify and a base mesh to create multiple characters. So um, it's going to be a little bit different than what the forum member um, thought the workflow would probably be. Um, he wanted to get in here and, and actually uh, move some of these um, positions of Rigify after it was generated, but uh, I'll show you how I do it and uh, hopefully that'll help you out. So I've got um, a basic mesh here and it's also it's already pre-rigged to the original Rigify rig and I think uh, the first problem is um, the Rigify is the original Rigify is actually pretty um, stiff on and uh, unforgiving on how it lets you scale things. Um, you can see I can get the upper arm here to move um, with this slider. Let me just go back to one. But um, there's not a lot of. I, can, I guess I can scale and scale the hips and things like that. But uh, it's it's really, like I said, pretty rigid and not very good for uh, creating uh, new proportions for a mesh. But um, I've got another file here, and this one has uh, the same mesh, but I rigged it with the Pitchypoy version of uh, Rigify. And if I select one of these um, tweak bones here, you can see that I can uh, individually change uh, the size of each one of these deformation bones. And I've got these deformation bones um, turned on here for uh, this third to last layer is what's allowing those to be seen and also I have x-ray on so we can see through the mesh here but uh, I use a method like this all the time to create uh, uh, different scales proportions for my character um, you can see that uh, if I grab I've actually got everything in here in FK mode I can actually grab this leg and move the whole thing um, Rigify is really a uh, uh, or the Pitchypoy version is is very forgiving and um, it lets you, allows you to do a lot of things that uh, the original version doesn't. So I can actually grab this whole arm and move it, or I could scale the whole thing, or just scale the forearm, or I could scale it its length here, and then use um, the tweak bones to um, scale the you scale the um, the individual uh, deformation bones here. So a lot of different options here that just aren't uh, available f um, with the original Rigify. So what I've done is gone ahead and created two quick characters and please don't laugh because they're not very good but I'm gonna select all these bones and go to my pose library and I've got skinny mini here. I'm just gonna apply that and you can see that I've got a really um, skinny version of uh, my original base mesh there and I just added it as a pose library to the pose library and I can access this, this character um, at any time and the rig is still going to work perfectly whoops uh, uh, perfectly well I didn't want to break the leg <laughs> but uh and let's see I got skinny mini let me grab all the controls again and we'll s look at big Bertha here and kind of went to the op opposite end of the spectrum here and uh, uh, change the position of the the legs and things like that um, to create big Bertha and course just added a new pose in the pose library and I think this is exactly what the form member was looking for is the ability to scale all this stuff and um, create a new character from that base mesh now it, at some point <coughs> this isn't gonna be enough for just uh, having the poses so we're gonna want to convert this to its own mesh so if I take Big Bertha here and do shift D and then gonna move her to an, another layer um, I can make these changes permanent now by going to the modifiers and like I said I started with a mirror modded mesh I'm gonna apply that first and then I'm gonna apply the armature modifier and now basically what that did no, this mesh is now permanent it's it's permanently this size so at this point after that uh, armature modifier would be applied I probably want to delete all these vertex groups to just make sure that uh, they're not gonna create problems when I um, I take the original meta rig and uh, this mesh and create a new group form control G I create a Bertha group and basically
take that group into one of its own file and, and start re-rigging it. And the reason I'm taking that original um, meta rig is it would probably just save me a lot of time. It depends on how um, out of proportion I made everything, but I can just select that leg and you know reposition these for the for the new proportions uh, pretty quickly. Generate a new rig for it in that new file, and I'd be off and set. I'd have Big Bertha, and I could do the same thing with Skinny Mini. Um, like I said, duplicate the duplicate the mesh. Let me go. Let me just do it here quick. Select everything, Skinny Mini. I'm gonna apply that uh, that pose to her. Shift D to duplicate. Let's move it to layer four. And apply the mirror and the armature modifier. And like I said, I'd make a group for her with this meta rig as well. And move her to another file. Uh, adjust the meta rig however I needed to. Generate a new rig, and I would have two characters actually pretty quickly. So I think that's the kind of thing that the forum member was asking. And that's how I do it. And um, I hope that really helps you out. Good luck.